Yeah, baby. Yeah. Keep it wet. Keep the pussy wet. Keep the pussy wet. It ain't gonna be too much long. Keep that. Keep that pussy wet. Okay. Keep that pussy wet. Oh, oh, what's up, y'all? Hey, this is T. Legend. I'm back with part three of my gun video collection. Um, first and for, first and foremost, um, I got good news. I finally got my CPL, man. Um, man, God is good, brother. Um, I can now carry my my, my pistol. Uh, um, Seal. I can ride around in my truck with my with my truck guns, with the Scorpion, the AR-15 pistol, the AK pistol. It's all good, man. I'm I'm I'm, I'm still on claw number nine, man. I'm feeling so good. It's so blissful to just be able to know that you can um, protect yourself if some shit break out. You know, if the shit hit the fan, you know, you, you shopping somewhere or something. Some crazy motherfucker come in there trying to shoot up everybody or something. You know, you got something to, 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 to fight back. You know what I'm saying? You got to fight the change, you know? So, you know, it's a, it's a blessing. <coughs> I'm still <coughs> excited over that shit. <coughs> but any motherfucking rap, you're going to start this shit off. With Quran. Let me safety check this bitch. The fucking Glock. Hell yes. Twenty three. Fifteen. Your AK forty. This bitch. This forty caliber. We're gonna take your AR fifteen. It holds thirteen rounds. I keep these bitches in there. Um. These might even be more dangerous and deadly than the whip. They go 2,000 feet per second, and they some powerful rounds, man. Look, get a look at that right there. Look at that shit. Don't that shit look daddy? And that's what I want. You gotta, you gotta, hey, you gotta be able to, to protect yourself, defend yourself. And I don't want no pussy ass round. I want something that's gonna fuck a motherfucker up. And this is what's gonna do it. But this is what I keep in there. But, I also got the, um, I know the bitch ain't loaded, but it will be loaded soon, especially since I got my CPL now. This is the, um, the 30, uh, uh, 31 rounds of 40 caliber, right here, 31 rounds. Right there, I'm going to show you how I look in it. That's a lot of firepower. Right there. So, let's see. And, if, and, if, and like I say, if this is not enough, if this is not enough, uh, I got the 50 wall. Hell yes, hell yes. We're gonna take your AR. Right here. Your AK Show you how I look with it. Hell yes, we're gonna take your AR. Drum. But, you know me, I'm gonna be carrying my shit. I'm gonna have this motherfucker right here in my truck, the uh, the MCK kit. So, I'm gonna show y'all how it looks with the Glock in it. You know, y'all, I don't did this shit in the other videos, but you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna do it again. So, uh, Take the clock, drop it down in there, lock it in, push it up, you're gonna hear a snap. Then you just close this, push up on there, and boom, you got like a, a carbine or some shit like that. And let me show you how I look with the, uh, the 30, that's how I look with the 31 round. And it also it also got a mag holder too, so you can take you can take this out, stick it in here. This a mag holder, and then slap that 50 rounder in there, and boom.
home. This motherfucker right here. This is the shit I'm gonna have land in the passenger seat next to me. You know, motherfuckers see you getting out, and I ain't trying to go for bed or nothing, but I love the attention, I'm not gonna lie. When I walk in the gas station with this, you know, at two, three o'clock in the morning, you know, because I wanna get my snack on or whatever, let a motherfucker see you with this. They know not to fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, look at this, man. I mean, you know, this is, this is, look, look at <clears throat> this is so fucking. I mean, this. I recommend. I highly recommend. Like, if you got a block, I, uh, uh, to grab one of these. Uh, the, the newer ones they work for like multiple models and shit of of, of blocks. You know, and I think they do it for the um, Smith and Reston too. The M and P, I, I believe. But you know, I fuck with the block. But this is how I look. This is the uh, MCK kit. With the uh, the Glock 23, right here. All right. The next one. Um, damn, I forgot to get it. Hold on. Uh, This is the, uh, my battle gun. Damn, I'm just having all kind of allergies today and shit. Oh. Uh. Hey! Okay. Uh. This is from, hope I ain't got no bug in in my nose. But anyway, this is my main battle gun right here. The, uh, the Stava M92 PAP AK-47 pistol. Like I said once before, if the shit hits the fan and I hear somebody trying to break in my crib or you know kick it in my door or I hear one of my windows being busted out, this is the one that I am going to grab. You know, I will use my black pistol you know, that's, I keep that by uh, on my nightstand. But if I can make it to this, I use that Glock to make it to this. Because this right here, the seven by, um, and I keep my bitch hot and ready. The seven, um, the seven, um, 739, 62, whatever the fuck it is. This is a, let me show you this rum. That's a nasty, nasty ass rum. This will fuck you up. This shit go through just about anything. This will fuck you up. And I keep it hot and ready. So this is going to be my, this is going to be my go-to gun. And I love it because it's a lot of, um, it's a lot of firepower and it's such a short, compact package. I love this motherfucker right here. And I got that. This didn't come with this. This I added this to it. The um, the grip, the recoil grip. I put that on there. And for a minute, I thought about adding a, um, a brace to it, but uh, I, I want to keep it as, as as short as I possibly can. So I don't think I'm gonna put a brace on there. I don't think I'm gonna put a brace on this bitch, man. I like it just how it is, and. Because I got my CPL now, I can drive around with this motherfucker right on the passenger seat. You know, I can throw it in the back seat. You know, it's so beautiful living in this country that you can do this shit right here. You can actually ride around with this motherfucker loaded, man. Thank God for, for the CPLs. But this is the this is the 30 round bag. And then I got the um, I paid $40 for this. It's a, 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 it's a used, um, surplus, uh, authentic Russian, uh, 40 round mag right here. It's a steel mag. So this is how I look at the steel mag. This is a lot of firepower. A lot of firepower. All 
Right. right? So that's how that's how this bad boy looks. I'll take this over a Draco any day because we you know not to talk down on Draco. They all do their thing. But this one right here, in my opinion, is just built a lot better. It's got a thicker receiver on it, and it's just, it's, to me, it's just solid. It's solid. But this is uh, the PAP um, M92 AK pistol. Alright. So, let's, uh, Next one is, here's my AR. This is the AR, um, the AR-15 pistol that I have. Um, it's made by Radical Firearms. It's, it's law enforcement grade specs on this bitch. Um, I mean, what's not, uh, what's not, uh, to, to like about it, man. I mean, it's compact. I could travel with it because it is a pistol. It's registered as a pistol, just like the AK. Um, let me flip up the sights on it. I got everything lined in uh, as far as, you know, sighted in. You know, uh, what I like about this one right here is loud as fuck. And I keep the spit. I keep the, um, the speed fire break on it. If you look right here, if you look at the muzzle break right here, it look like it got like crooked teeth. Like it's teeth, you know, that, that's, that's crooked. When you put this on here, um, it shoots out a, um, a, a, a three foot fireball. That's why they call it the spit fire break. Then I got this, uh, like kind of like a, it's not a vertical grip, but it, you can use it like that. So I, I had that put on there. I took the, the, the regular angle grip off, put that on there. I got the, uh, I got the flashlight. You got bright, you got dim, and you got scroll. So I got that, I got that on there. Um, then I got the uh, the red dot right here. I got the I got the laser. And then let me turn it off so you won't be distracted. I got the LED right here where it go from red to right. Then you can turn it off. I got the laser. Uh, and then right here you got the um, the little the, the cross radical right here, so it's, it's it's dope as fuck, man. Let me turn it on. Let me turn the uh, now. I got the cross on there now. I wonder can you see it like if I was to uh, put it on there. I wonder would you be able to let's see, would you be able to see that cross on there. Yep, right there. You can see the cross right there. So. Yeah, it's some nice shit. All right. So, um, let me turn this off. And I also got the, um, I also got the 100 wrong. Uh, drum on this, so let me get that because I know y'all want to see that with the 100 round drum. Let's get that out here. Let's put that back on there. Shit, I thought they was about to ban this in a minute. You crazy motherfuckers doing the mass shootings and shit. Okay, so we got uh this one you got to basically beat this motherfucker in there with a hammer, man. This shit. Mute this shit right here. 
and you slap it in there like this. <clears throat> okay. And this is how I look with the 100 round drop. Right here. I love this motherfucker right here. I love this bitch right here. That's how I look with the 100 round drop. Yes. So let's set this over here. Okay. Um, the next one, KSG, brother. Put the flip up sights on here. Take this off. Got a nice red, green dot on there. This is the, uh, the KSG. This right here, it hold 14, I believe this uh, two, three, fourth uh, 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 shells, uh, the inch or whatever, and then it holds up to 23 uh, mini shells. You know, 11 on each, in each tube, in each magazine, and one in the head. So it can hold up to 23 mini shells and 15, you know, regular shells, to two, three, fourth shells, whatever the fuck you call them. But this is the KSG. I love it, man. I just posted a video by Gunmeister. That motherfucker video. That shit. I mean, he relays the, 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 the power of the KSG. It make you a proud owner after you watch that video. But, uh... I've never had any issues with it. You know, uh, you just gotta rack it like a man. You gotta... Put that strength in there. And you can see right here though, right here is where you load it up. You got these two, you know, the two tubes right here. Put that in the middle. You got these two tubes right there. I don't know if they, if the camera picked it up, but yeah, this is the KSG. I got rid of the KS7. I just didn't need two fucking shotguns. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I liked it, the KS7, but to me, um, wasn't no point in me having it because it's basically the same shotgun. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like the watered down version of the KSG. So, I was fortunate to have both of them, but I'm rocking with the KSG, the regular, the main KSG. I got the uh, vertical grip on here. I highly suggest that you that you if, that if you do get one or you already have one, get you a vertical grip because your hand can easily slide off and blow your motherfucking fingers off. So you don't you don't want that shit to happen. Get you get you a, a, a vertical grip. But yeah, this is this is the KSG right here, baby. I love this bitch, it's all nice and, and compact. You know, like I say, my first go-to gonna be the AK pistol, but this probably would be my second one, and then the, um, the AR pistol. I love this bitch, it's like when I bust this, it's like I'm busting a nut, man, just looking at this shit, my dick get hard, you feel me? And it's like when I bust it, it's like I'm busting a fucking Nut, man, I love this shit. Guns are sexy than a motherfucker. Sexy than a motherfucker. You know, my woman get jealous sometimes because I'm, you know, she she, she think I pay the guns more attention than I do her. And that's that's not true. But I do love my guns. My guns love me. What more can I say? But yeah, this is yeah. All right, that was the KSG. I told y'all that I was gonna get the RDB, the KL Tech RDB. So I got the KL Tech KSG. This right here is the KL Tech RDB. This is one of my newer guns. All the other shits that was in my all my other videos ain't nothing new. But this right here, this is one of my latest ones. One of my, my one of my newer guns right here. This is the um, Bullpup 
It's like a bump up AR-15. I got the 30 round mag in there. Uh, the, the shells, when you find this bitch, the shells come out, drop out the bottom right here. This is this is the ejection port right here. Um, this is the mag. And uh, let's see. Hit this right here, take the mag out. I ain't, I ain't got it nothing loaded up in there yet. But you, you put the mag. Slap that bitch in there. Then you got your charging handle right here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, charging handle. Ain't nothing in there now, but I'm about to release the bolt. I put a vertical grip on there too. I got I got the flip up sights right here. Um, I got the red dot. This motherfucker right here is red, green, and blue. So if some motherfucking Smurfs wanna. You know, uh, get gangster. I got something for their asses too. <laughs> but um, it's got the flashlight on it. You know what I'm saying? It's got the I got the laser. See what I'm saying? I got the laser, and I got the flashlight. And the and the main one is the red, green, and um, blue dot. I love this motherfucker right here, man. This shit and. What I like about it, this got a 17 inch barrel. This is the um, the Caltech RDD 17. Okay, the Caltech RDB 17. This bitch got the the 17 inch barrel and it's got the bird cage or whatever the fuck you call it. It's got that on there and um, you know I got it in tan. You know, so you ain't gonna find too many of them in tan. I like black, but when I saw this tan, I, I had to get this shit, man. You know. So that's the Caltech RDB 17. I love this bitch right here. It just looks so futuristic and, you know. I mean, I kinda like it better than the Tavor. You know, um. Motherfuckers is, 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 is dope. Look at this shit, man. Look, I mean, just look at it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, shit, my dick get hard. And, 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 and pussy get red. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, what's not like, what's not to like about this motherfucker? Alright. So that's the RDB. And then, oh lord. Fucking almighty Micro Scorpion. I did a trade, y'all. I had the regular Evo CZ Evo Scorpion. And um, I did a trade. I traded that in and threw some cash on top of the trade and got the micro because I always wanted the um the micro scorpion. And then the good thing about it is when I when I got this, it, it already came tricked out. It already came tricked out. Um, they took that awkward ass, uh, the original stock um, handle, uh, uh, you know, uh, a grip. They took this that off and put the Magpul grip on, which is it, it, it's it's more comfortable in my hands at least. And um, Another thing on the original uh, stock Scorpion, the, the safety selector can dig into your finger. So that was swapped out. The, uh, the safety selectors were swapped out where it don't dig into your finger. So I, I had the, the pistol grip was, was swapped out, the, the both uh, safety selectors. I got an extended mag release right here. This is this is uh, extended. I got that. That's on there. Um, I got the extra um, the sling, whatever the fuck you call it, the, the sling mount or whatever. That's put on there, and I got a, a extended charging handle. You know, I got the extended charging handle on there, um, and then I had the. Uh, the HB Industries uh, trigger spring installed, so it's a lighter pull on this bitch. So, 
Just got the little fake suppressor right here. I mean, this is fucking dope, man. It's, you pull it out. And I can ride around with this motherfucker loaded. Yes, because I'm a CPL holder now. You know, I have my own, I have a CPL. So, I would say out of all the guns, this probably would be the crown jewel right here. You know, I love my RGB and the KSG and the AR and the pistol, but it's just something about this right here. I, I just fucking call me the Scorpion King. That. Then you just hit this right here to collapse it. I mean, it's so compact, man. Imagine just being able to ride around with this motherfucker in, in your passenger seat. You know what I'm saying? And just you just be ready for a motherfucker, man. It's, you gotta you gotta protect you gotta protect your family. Most importantly, your family. You gotta protect yourself because. You living in a crazy world out here. You really are. You got motherfuckers. You got people being killed over a chicken sandwich, that Popeye's chicken. So if you got motherfuckers acting like animals and killing people and fighting and, and all that bullshit over a fucking sandwich, imagine if the if the gov government really really collapsed. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you gotta you gotta think ahead. I never did understand the mindset of a person that don't believe in protecting your family. You cannot put your safety in the hands of nobody else, including the police. It's not their job. They the cleanup crew. They, they, they job is to respond after the crime took place. I've seen videos on YouTube where people in their house and, and, and a, 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 a home, an intruder break in on them and they on the phone with 911 and it's taking the police forever to get there. And this, is pro this probably happened in the suburbs. I saw one video where it took up to 11 minutes. But they said a typical response is like within four to five minutes. But would you allow somebody to have complete control over your life for three to, to five minutes. You know how much damage they can inflict on you. They can shoot you, they can stab you. They can... Yeah, the uh, battery head died on that motherfucker. So, <clears throat> but what I was saying was, you can't put your life in the safety until the hands of another. It's not the police's job to really protect you. They they there to enforce the law, but when it comes to your personal safety, your family's personal safety, you as a man or a woman, you gotta take that responsibility into your own hands. You cannot depend on anybody else or, or government agency to um, protect your family. And you can protect your family, you can protect your family by having a firearm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if it's if it's if it's a, 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 a 22. Anything is better than nothing. You know what I'm saying? Anything you can shoot back, make a motherfucker run, jump back, dodge. You know what I'm saying? Do anything you can do to fight back, do it, you know. And for you guys out there, man, stop letting, you know, pussy distract you. This is one of my guns and, and, um, and sex stories right here. It was years ago, it was years ago, um, shit, it had to be, what, 2003, something like that, 2002, 2003, um, I had a fine-ass young lady with me, we went out, we went out on, a, on, a, on a date, you know, date went well, took her back to the, um, 
took her back to my crib, you know, had some drinks, you know, we chilled. You know, one thing led to another and we ended up in the bathroom, y'all. Yeah. We ended up in the bathroom. And um <clears throat> Pussy hair. I love eating pussy, by the way. It's pussy hair. But anyway, ended up in the bedroom. And um, she was either sucking my dick or she was riding me. It was one or the other. But anyway, man, I heard uh, the sound of a, of, a, of a glass being broke. I heard the sound glass being broken, shattered, but because I was paralyzed in pleasure, I was paralyzed in pleasure, I just disregarded it because I was in the moment, I was in, the, in you know what I'm saying, I was in the moment, and I was distracted. So next thing I know, you know, I, like I said, I can't really remember. I was even getting my dick sucked, or uh, I was even getting my dick sucked, and she was riding, man. But whatever it was, the shit was feeling so good. I didn't want her to stop. You hear me? But anyway, about ten seconds after I heard that glass shatter, I heard a motherfucking car alarm going off. I said, what the fuck? I'm looking up at my window and I'm saying like lights and shit flashing. I'm saying lights flashing. And I still didn't stop her from doing what she was doing because that's how good the shit fell. You hear me? But I'm like, I was like, God damn. I'm like, I'm hearing this fucking car alarm. Eh, 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 eh. And I'm hearing the alarm go off, and I'm like, nah, I'm, 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 I'm starting to get a little bit distracted. And that shit sound close. It sound very close. As a matter of fact, it was too close. And I said, you know what? I said, you got to get off. Stop what you're doing. So I jumped up out of bed, and I, 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 I peeped out my window. I peeped out my window. And it was my fucking car. Some motherfucker, some nigga... Had went up in my driveway. I had a, a um, a, I think it was a 02 or 03 uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee at the time. Some nigga went up in there, up in my driveway, and bust out the back passenger door window. Not the main window, but that little window. You know, in them Grand Cherokees, you got that little window plus the, the big window, the back window. They bust out that little window. That's the shit that I heard shatter. And when them niggas, when that nigga reached his arm in there to pull up the, the lock, to unlock the door, it triggered the alarm. That's the only thing that saved my car from being stolen that night. The alarm went off. But see, if, if I wouldn't have been distracted by getting my dick sucked, I would have caught on to that shit. I would have, as soon as I heard that glass shatter, I would have been on him and I probably would have had to beam on that motherfucker by then. You know what I'm saying? At least to scare that bitch. I ain't going to kill nobody over no, over no car or nothing like that unless they reach for a gun to try to shoot me first. You know, in self, you know it's only going to be used in self-defense. But what I'm saying is <clears throat> you have to stop letting your sexual encounters or whatever distract you from, from what's going on. I I, I I got other stories to tell, man. I knew of, 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 of some of my homeboys that's that been set up while they dick inside the pussy, you know, a, a nigga coming with a gun to their fucking head, man. And he had to run butt naked, jump out of windows and shit. Butt ass naked. You know what I'm saying? And one thing what you gotta do also I used to be an armed guard back in the day. And they used to have me working these CBSs and shit, man. I can tell you probably a thousand stories of, of situations where shit could have could have went left. Where I could have lost my life or took a life. The main thing, when you when you when you have a, a CPL or just owning a gun, period, you can't be no emotional motherfucker. You can't be one of these motherfuckers that think you bad or 
thank you to shit or thank you a, a, a cop or something now or, 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 or you got a license to kill that CPL give you the like no if anything you got to be stricter and more humbler you got to be humble you instead of escalating the situation you got to de-escalate the situation and shit I've been in a situation where I've been called a punk a punk ass motherfucker because I didn't pull my gun I give you another. I give you another true story. This was a few years back. Um, one of my nephews, his sister, had came over, and I didn't know at the time that she had beef with uh, one of the girls that lived down the street at the, at one of the uh, at the corner house. So, you know, I'm up, I'm upstairs in my bedroom. At the time, I only had a Glock, I believe. I only had a, a one gun, it was a Glock. I heard a lot of commotion out there. And you know, um, man, next thing I know, it's about 30 to 40 people out there in the middle of the street trying to fight. You got niggas with their cameras videotaping and talking about World Star. You got people from her camp pulling up, they got guns. She got her, 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 her friends coming, and it was just two groups of people at each other spoke into it over some stupid ass kid shit. Come to find out, they didn't even know each other. They was just staring each other down because they got into it because one of them claimed the other one looked at her the wrong way, and that's all how all that shit popped off. Niggas can get killed or over the most stupidest, dumbest shit. And it's fucked up. So anyway, you got about three to four people that flashing their pistols and shit. And it's all over. And you talking about, I'm talking about grown ass motherfuckers is getting involved in the shit. Not no kid shit, not no teenage shit. Grown ass motherfuckers, full grown ass motherfuckers getting involved. So, Somebody in my family, I ain't gonna mention no names. They're gonna be like, oh, Terry. Terry, you know he could have came out there with his gun and showed his gun, or at least shot up in the in the air or shot in the ground. Uh, 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 he ain't shit. He's a punk ass motherfucker. He just showing off his guns and scared to shoot. You know what I'm saying? He he ain't even do shit. He just standing there watching. I'm like, you damn right. Because guess what? The minute I step out into that chaos, I'm involved. And the minute, if somebody do know I got a gun, who's to say they're not gonna pull their guns out and gun me down? Or if I see somebody reaching for their gun and pulling it out, I gun them down. Or we kill each other. And guess what, for what? Over some stupid ass kid shit? For real? I don't, oh my God. People can be so fucking stupid and ignorant. You don't involve yourself in none of that bullshit, especially some shit that ain't got shit to do with you. That's some ain't shit, no good for shit, hood shit. Don't involve yourself in no hood shit. No, I guarantee you, if I would have shot up in the air or just even trying to shoot up in the air or something like that, I guarantee you right now, I wouldn't have my CPL right now. I probably would have been locked up. If I would have shot somebody the result of that bullshit, you know, uh, 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 getting involved in that shit and I ended up shooting somebody and getting shot up, I either would have been in the hospital or in jail. And with a felony on my record, man, it ain't worth it. Sometimes you got to be smart and be like, that shit is too beneath you to even get involved in some shit. Only way I'm gonna use my guns if a motherfucker trying to break up in my house and do me harm, then I'm gonna blow they ass. I'm gonna put they ass down. I'm gonna put they ass down. That's the only way. My guns ain't for no show off, they for defensive purposes. And I got my CPL and I see a motherfucker in, 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 you know, running up on me or something. And they got a gun, I'm going to blow their ass. I'm going to blow them. But, some, you know, you ain't Superman. In some cases, if they get the drop on you, what can you do if they got a gun to your head? You can't get to your gun in time. 
So you just, you still got to be alert. It's still good to have your CPL, to have your gun on you. You know what I'm saying? But you got to humble yourself and just, you just can't, and if something do happen, you just can't jump into it. You got to be tactical about the shit. Observe the situation. See, you know, see it for what it is. Because if you just jump into a situation, it might be two or three other motherfuckers that see you, they got guns, and, but you don't see them. And you gotta be, you gotta make sure you got um, a place where you can take cover in case they go to shooting at you. So you just gotta, I mean, it's 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 crazy, man. It's a crazy world we live in. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta be alert 24-7. You really do, man. You know, I appreciate. Everybody watching my video, man, it, it, it means the world to me. You know that y'all think I'm important enough to, to, to watch, you know, Nat Tail Turner, man, I really, really appreciate you. Your videos inspire me. You know, uh, Timmy, I really, really appreciate you, brother. You even play my beats in the background when you do your videos, man. You show me nothing but love, and I, and I really do appreciate that, you know. Um, all I can do is just be me. I know I got a foul ass mouth. I can be nasty. I can I can be everything. You know, that's just me. You gonna get it, man. This this ain't for no this channel right here is not for no kids. It's for the for grown folks. You know, if you can't take it, don't watch it. You know what I'm saying? But I got to be me at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate y'all. I don't know if I'm going to be buying no more guns. I got everything I need. I probably got more. I, I probably got too many guns. You know, and I ain't even really got to the range yet to shoot some of these motherfuckers, you know. But I just want to be able to protect my family. It's not the police job to protect my family. It's my job as a man to protect my family, you know. It really is. But I got love for each and every one of y'all, man. Thank you for taking the time out and watching my video. You know what I'm saying? When you could be doing anything else, you, you, you sitting there watching me you know what i'm saying I, and i appreciate that more videos is going to come for real but stop letting that pussy distract y'all man like i was a fool back in the day don't don't let that don't let that distract you. please don't because you can lose your life over that man you know but anyway peace out um I'm going to do some more videos coming soon. Here it is, y'all. Y'all got it. T-Electric. God Collection Video Part 